Hey, how did you feel after yesterday's first meditation practice? This is day two of the Health Buddy Meditation Challenge. I'm Mark Slight, and today I want to go through something very similar to yesterday. We did touch on yesterday connecting with our thoughts, and we're going to do that a little bit more today. Just make sure, first of all, as yesterday, that you're just comfortable. There's no distractions for at least the next 10 minutes. You can sit happily wherever you are. Again, I'm here with meditation cushion, my yoga cushion, just a pillow behind my back, and I've got my, I've got my mat here, and I've also got a glass of, of water as well, just, just in case I choose to sit here a little bit longer and I, I want to take a drink. And if you've got that set up, then, then you're good to go, you're good to meditate. It doesn't have to be anything more than that. So let's just begin. Let's just get ourselves comfortable and just just stretch maybe your legs just before you, if you're going to sit cross-legged, just before you sit for 10 minutes, maybe just give yourself a little stretch. Make sure you're comfortable, make sure your joints are, are well lubricated and you're just happy where you are for 10 minutes. It doesn't have to be anything picturesque, anything amazing. Just sitting in a spare room with, with a glass of water and a comfy cushion is good enough. So just allow yourself now to settle into this meditation. Just... Just take a few big deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Just gradually letting the weight come off the shoulders. Letting your breath settle into something that is just relaxed and normal. Just a happy, gentle rhythm with your breath. As yesterday we said, just, just allow your jaw to relax. We hold a lot of tension, a lot of stress in our jaw without realising it. We can go around clenching our teeth. So just allow your teeth to unclench, your jaw to relax. Your tongue to sit just loosely in your mouth. And just keep the weight off them shoulders. We don't want to slouch, but we don't need to be so tight and rigid either. So just that comfortable position. Hands wherever you like, whether it be on your knees, on the floor, in front of you, it doesn't matter. Just nice and relaxed and keeping that soft focus to a point in front of you. Again, for me, the candle's still sitting there on the window ledge, so I'm just looking at that. I'm just allowing my breath to come to its natural rhythm. And just gently on your next out breath, just softly closing your eyes and allowing yourself to sink into this meditation. Just going to find some peace for the next 10 minutes. It's quite common for people to, to drift off to sleep in meditations as well. So make sure you are in a safe place where if that does happen, you, you're not going to hurt yourself if you do drift off to sleep. We can bring ourselves to such a place of peace and quiet that that sleep is a very easy thing to achieve in meditation. And again, we don't judge ourselves for that. We're not missing out, we're not failing. It's just our body telling us that that's what we need. We need to rest, we need to calm down. And the moment you do that, you drift off to sleep. It's absolutely fine. Just staying with that breath for a moment. Just feeling your lungs expand as you breathe in through your nose. And deflate as you breathe out through your mouth. And as you breathe out and your lungs deflate, just, just feel all the stress and worry and anxiety leave your body at the same time. As that 
metaphorical weight just gets lifted off your shoulders. And you blow it away with your breath. Being aware as we was yesterday, just of the points of contact with the floor. We're not doing a full body scan just yet. We're just conscious of the, the body parts making contact with the chair or the floor below us. And, you know, we, we fidget a little bit. Well, I'm sitting here wriggling my toes and, and if you heard it, my big toe just cracked. So that's what happens. We're just, we're just getting set. We're just getting into a nice, comfortable position. And toes crack, knees crack, fingers, you know, it just, it happens. Again, we're not judging our body, we're just being aware of, of maybe some tension that we're holding in some of our joints and our fingers. And every time we breathe out, we're just letting a little bit of that tension go. And every time we breathe in, we're just bringing a, a new sense of calm into our mind, into our world. As we begin to feel at ease. In this moment here, this, this is your base point, as you sit and focus on your breath. Whatever practice we partake in during a meditation, you've always got this point here to come back to. This calm place where there's no judgment, no fear, no achievement required just to sit with our breath and to just be comfortable with ourselves. Because the more you sit here, the more we have thoughts going through our head. We touched on that yesterday in day one, that there will be a lot of thoughts in our head ranging from the, the smallest minuscule thought to the most complex. There's no rhyme or reason as to what comes up in each meditation. Sometimes you have a fairly quiet meditation with few thoughts. Other times, well, other times it's just a bit crazy in our heads. But don't worry about the thoughts. I want, I want you to sit there and I want you to be aware of them right now. Not necessarily what the individual thought is, but just take notice that the thoughts are there. There's no need to hide away from them. There's no need to bury them or, or try to tune them out or talk over the top of them. They are there for a reason. So just, just let them stay there for now. Try not to pay any individual thought a huge amount of attention. Just acknowledge it. We know it's there. And within milliseconds that thought will go, it will be replaced by another one. And just let this cycle repeat itself. Just let the thoughts come and go. As I said, we're not trying to achieve anything with this 10-day challenge. We're not trying to resolve anything. Just trying to find a new peaceful place for us to sit. Find a calm within ourselves and to connect with ourselves. Sometimes we can just connect a fraction with ourselves and just, just this quiet room is enough. Just the peace and quiet away from maybe work or the children or the chaos outside. And this is fine. This is enough. Sometimes you might want to connect on a more soulful level and get really deep. Whatever the peace and calm is for you is your choice. 
We're all different and we'll all find that level of calm, whatever it is. But we can block out noise from outside and just stay focused within. If there's no demons inside of us, the demons outside can do us no harm. Just allowing them thoughts to come and go. If you find yourself focusing on one for too long, just bring yourself back to your breath, back to that natural rhythm. Once you've got back to that, that place of calm, then just, just go back to the thoughts again and just allow them to come and go. You've always got your breath. And as we did yesterday, you may choose to stay here for 5, 10, 15 minutes longer. Just if you're comfortable and, and you wish to stay here, it's absolutely fine. Just reach over. If you're getting a little bit cool, just grab your blanket and just... There's something very calming about just a cool blanket on your legs and just feeling cosy and, and settled and safe and... There's a reason lots of children carry around comfort blankets and it's for that reason. It's just, it's just a lovely feeling to sit here and feel cosy and safe. But if you wish now, you can bring your attention back to your breath. You can slowly ease yourself out of the meditation and back to the room just by gently opening your eyes again allowing them to get used to the light and the surroundings. Just that soft focus again on that point in front of you that you had right at the very beginning. Just gently, maybe wriggling your toes a little bit, moving your fingers you might feel a little bit hot and sticky now. You've been sat in the same position. You might feel a little bit sweaty in certain places. Maybe you might just want to open your legs out a little bit. Just, just stretch them knees, stretch them toes, stretch them shoulders back a little bit. Particularly if you are in a position where you sit in an office or you drive a lot and you, you find you hunch your shoulders quite a bit. Just, just to stretch them shoulders back a little bit. And just to relax. And feel free to stay here as long as you like in this relaxed, calm state. And I'll see you back here tomorrow for day three.